ipapipigil sa pagsulong sa kinabukasan na katuon para sa di kalidad na edukasyon Paligid German European School, Manila. Pursuing teaching as a profession was serendipity. I was inspired by one of my teachers when I was in the mentoring. There is this sense of fulfillment when I can influence the positive changes I see in their lives. I think the pandemic has affected my job as a teacher. I have to make a lot of adjustments which we didn't expect. And, and suddenly, we were pressured to go out of your comfort zone, which is the four corners of the classroom, and do things you've never expected to have done in the past. It is so hard to make a great connection to my students without being physically present beside them. Hindi ka sigurado kung naintindihan ng mga bata ang kanilang mga lessons. Where I'm from, not all are able to do virtual classes, and so this will really make this will really be difficult for us as teachers hindi po ako maalam sa computer hindi po ako maalam sa ibang mga platforms so kailangan naming matuto ng mga different apps at different softwares para magawa namin ito marami po ako mga pinanood ng mga webinars isa na po dito yung webinar ng Canva. Ang Canva ang gumagabay sa akin upang lalo akong maging malikhain. It is a tool which has 
all that I need that helps me create beautiful designs in the shortest time possible. There are lots of animated pictures, stickers, and it made my lesson presentation more exciting. There's just limitless possibilities. The templates, there's always something new to match what you need. A fun way to create lessons. Halos nilalaro ko lang siya. Ginagamit ko siya ng paiba-iba at kung ano po yung uh, effective. Kapag kakailanganin kong gumawa ng mga instructional materials. Lesson plans, activities, mga presentations at short videos. Ay meron akong Canva na masasandalan. It has changed the idea that you cannot teach properly if you're outside the classroom. You can, with the help of visually appealing designs, with the help of engaging designs. Kung sakaling ma-invite ko na ang mga bata sa Canva class, i-encourage ko silang mag-explore. I can do collaborative activities for my students using it. The students really feel like kasama pa rin nila yung mga teachers nila, tuwang-tuwa yung mga bata. Canva is absolutely making my job easier. It has helped me now, and I think it will help me even more in the future. Sa pagiging miyembro ko ng Canva for Filipino Teachers, ay ipinakilala ko sa aking mga kapwa-guro upang pasukin din nila ito. I would still be using Canva even when students are allowed back into their physical classrooms. I would still be using Canva for years to come and I would still be using it for the same things that I use it now. Para ma-excite silang pumasok sa araw-araw. They will love it. I would definitely recommend Canva to all my co-teachers and all the other teachers I know. It is truly a gift because hindi mo hiningi binigay sa iyo. Alam ko na ang Canva ay magiging malaking parte ng inyong buhay. De Luna Present Herrera Present Valera Present Handa ba tayo sa school year 2020? Present Ngayong taon, ang edukasyon tuloy pa rin Sa tulong ng DepEd, mga guro at mga magulang Ang handang isip, handa bukas Tuloy-tuloy ang pag-aaral May mga modules para sa iba't ibang antas Sa Government TV, maging sa radyo Mahalagang ligtas ang ating mga estudyante at guro. Kaya kahit nasa bahay, tuloy ang edukasyon. Kung tulong-tulong, may paraan, may aralan. Handang isip, handa buka. Bisitahin ang DepEd Philippines sa Facebook at ang deped.gov.ph. Magandang gabi Luzon, maayong gabi Visayas, Buenos Noches, Mindanao. Welcome to the first episode of Canva Webinar Series for Teachers. I'm Rigo Tamaneng from DepEd Public Affairs Service. Kumusta po kayong lahat ngayong gabi ng biyernes? Marahil ang hashtag po natin ay Feel Good Friday dahil uh, pa weekend na. But we thank you for joining us tonight and we will make sure that aside from Feel Good Friday na hashtag, madadagdag din po ang hashtag na Productive Friday Night. Okay? So before we start, let me share you a brief background of our partner for this webinar. Our partner is Canva. Um, Canva is a graphic design company founded last 2012 with over 1,000 employees as of August 2020. It offers different templates to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, and other visual content. Its uh, content or designs are created by Filipino graphic artists. I mean, 90% of its designs are created by Filipino graphic artists. Okay. So, maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood sa DepEd Philippines. And uh, tonight, we will have uh, Canva representatives who will share their expertise. You can also utilize the comment box for your questions, and we will answer them after the lecture. 
Our first speaker is Ms. Shishi Malvar. Shishi has a background in learning and development, and she's currently part of Canva's customer happiness team since August 2019. She supports print specific inquiries to ensure that Canva provides the best quality products for their customers. Good evening, Ms. Shishi. Hi, good evening. Good evening po sa inyo lahat. Um, all right. So, um, good evening po sa lahat and welcome po sa ating webinar. Um, let me just share my screen. All right, and before we begin, um, ayun, um, thank you for the quick introduction. Ako po si Shishi Malvar, and I'm part of the Customer Happiness Team. Again, yes, mainly working on the print-specific print specific products. Um, and today, I'll do my best and introduce you guys to Canva for Education and what it can do to help out um, teachers and students alike. So there are two parts to this webinar. Um, the first part is what I'll be discussing, which is introduction to Canva and Canva for education. And later on, we'll have a Canva 101 or a demo on what you can do through Canva. All right, so if ready na po kayo, um, magsisimula na po tayo sa ating webinar, which is Intro to Canva. Um, so Canva is an online tool that allows you to easily create beautiful and engaging business with thousands of templates that you can choose from. So with Canva Education, you will be getting access to 60,000 plus templates, which also have educational specific content that is free to use anytime for your classes. Um, I'll be discussing more on what the features are later on. All right, um, normally when we think of designing, um, the usual way of creating a good design is pretty complex. We think about going through this process na sobrang haba, which is from purchasing the right software, um, studying the design, finding stock photos, um, purchasing fonts, layouts, up until finally um, it's ready to be revised and uploaded. So Canva was made things much simpler and integrate. We want to give everyone the ability to um, collaborate, on, collaborate online, have access to a library of millions of images, and publish anything anywhere. So basically, Canva is a one-stop shop for designing. And the reason why um, we're doing this is because we want to empower the world to design. Um, we want to empower everyone around the world and give access to the tools that they need to, to design anything and publish anywhere on every device and every language with every ingredient. We also want to empower every classroom to design. We want to empower educators and students to maximize their ability to be creative. Bakit? Because of these core values that we have. So um, Canva shares the same beliefs on how we work. We want to be a force for good. We want to empower others. We want to be a good human. 
We want to make complex things simple. We want to pursue excellence and we want to set crazy big goals and make them happen. Why we're investing in education specifically? Nagtutuan kami ng pansin sa edukasyon dahil nag-aalign ito sa pinaka-importante naming core value, which is to be a force for good. It is a way para makapag-give back kami. Um, we want to help our educators that are helping um, shape a great future for you. So our gift to K-12 teachers in the Philippines. Um, so this is um, actually applicable for teachers worldwide. Um, our gift is Canva for educator, education. Um, so this, is also, this also includes ALS and SPED educators. Um, but before um, we go through the um, features on what you get with um, Canva for Education, um, let's take a quick step back on what you actually can do with Canva. So Canva is, by default, is a free platform where anyone can design. So anyone can have access to 8,000 templates, 100 design categories, hundreds of icons and illustrations, built-in presentation mode, um, team sharing, and commenting. So, sobrang useful yan ngayon. Um, but for um, yung Canva for education, on the other hand, ito yung parang yung version ng Canva. This is made specifically for teachers and students. Um, you get 60,000 plus templates and you get education specific content as well. Um, ito yung mga um, worksheets that you can use. Um, also mga presentations that you can use for your peers or your students. Um, you also have access to 2 million plus images. Um, 800,000 icons and illustrations that you can use to design. 700 plus fonts. Um, you also get access to um, Google Drive, Dropbox folders, and um, we have um, integration with Jif Jiffy, YouTube, and QR codes. And also you can integrate your Google Classroom account and Clever. So everything na um, feature nyan is free sa Canva for education. Um, also, for more details on the future, uh, on, the, on the features of Canva for Education, you can just go to um, canva.com slash education. So, dito nyo, if, um, if you need more clarifications or you want to check out on the features, um, you may go to that website as well. So, let's talk more on, um, on the access and features that you'll be getting through this for Education subscription. So you get over um, 60,000 beautifully crafted templates to inspire. We have plenty of templates that you on, on top of that have templates and worksheets, as I mentioned earlier, na available made specifically for Canva for Education. So um, ito yung mga um, examples. Um, meron tayong mga postcards. Um, we also have posters, presentations, um, and um, pwede din kayong gumawa ng resume. There's a lot of things that you can do through Canva. You also get access to free unlimited content, uh, meaning we have a lot of um, icons and content that you can choose from. These are this includes high resolution images, illustrations, and high resolution videos. And um, 700 plus free premium fonts to unleash creativity. So these are fonts that you can use para sa mga presentations, sa mga designs, or documents um, that you can use on a daily basis. 
Um, these are just a few of them. Um, ito yung mga example ng Pinoy fonts um, named Quiapo, Cubao, Kundiman. We also have Baybayin. Um, lahat po ito ay libre sa Canva for Education. Um, all right, so we also have collaboration space. Um, itong feature po na ito ay libre regardless if naka Canva for Education po kayo or hindi. So this allows you to edit designs with your colleagues or students. And um, actually, this is a great way um, para makapag-combine kayo ng ideas and creativity. Um, you can also design and discuss um, things with your students through Canva. If familiar po kayo sa Google Doc, there is a feature na pwede kang mag-comment and or mag-mention ng mga tao. And at the same time, reply on the thread. So we also have that feature in Canva. You can choose um, certain areas of the design or the certain areas of the presentation. And then you can leave the comment that you want to tag or you can leave a comment and tag the person you want to mention. Um, in Canva, we also have folders that you can manage um, your content and keep track of your progress. So um, this enables you to select ano, um, what access people can have to your designs. So for example, you only, have, you, want, you only want selected students or selected peers to have access to your design or um, selected people that can view your design, you can also manage that um, here in your folders. Um, another thing in, is that we are COPPA and PERPA compliant. Um, this means um, Canva's content is filtered and safe committed for students kahit na sila ay unsupervised. So this gives teachers and parents peace of mind about um, student data and accounts. So um, currently we have uh, 60,000 schools and universities that are using designs um, for their presentations or documents. Um, and we have one of us um, education product that are available. Um, so this is around the world and Korea or the Philippines, the languages that are available um, are Tagalog and Cebuano. We have two free images to bring designs to life. So we have 2 million, imi two million free images that you can use um, if you have Canva Fusion access and 60,000 plus free templates that you can use for your class and for your presentations. Above all these education specific content that I have mentioned, um, content features and templates, um, we still have a bigger vision for Canva for Education. We want to empower every K-12 school and teacher in the Philippines with a free forever premium version of Canva for Education. So if you're a teacher and you would like to sign up, um, you can do so by uh, visiting canva.com slash edu dash sign up. Um, so through this link, you can use your deped.gov.ph email or edu.ph email. So these emails um, na gagamitin nyo to sign up, these are already um, whitelisted. This means that um, na pre-approved na po siya. So, um, you don't have to go through um, a long process for your um, Canva for Education access. If, however, um, you are an educator, 
Um, pero wala po kayo nitong mga email address. Don't worry, kasi you can still sign up um, through this link, um, yung longer link. Um, it's just uh, one step longer than the um, other others, um, other link. Um, pero all you need to do is to provide us with uh, proof that you are a teacher. So it could be your ID or your COE. Um, but don't worry, you will be approved in book for this access. If you're interested then po to be a part of a community of teachers um, that uses Canva, you may join our Facebook group, Canva for Filipino Teachers. So in this group, you learn more about Canva for education, um, any latest releases, or if you have any questions related to Canva, we have someone that regularly answers questions here. And, and now I'll be handing over um, to Che to discuss Canva 101 or a Canva demo. Uh, hi, everyone. All right. Okay. Yeah, Miss Che, I'm sorry to interrupt, but thank you so much, Miss Shishi, for the uh for the first uh, for discussing the first uh topic now uh before we proceed with the lecture or discussion of michelle let me just give some shout outs from our live comments and uh, from our viewers uh let me greet um different um fdo representatives and dami natin viewer po pala, no? but i just read one comment from sir jp puse sabi niya uh, gamit na gamit ko at favorite ang Canva. Highly recommended. Thank you so much. Um, sabi rin ni Ma'am Lovelyn, um, I love Canva but I only have limited knowledge and I want to learn more. Sabi ni Ma'am uh, Janelyn. So yeah, it's a good thing that uh, you joined our first episode because this will be a five-day series every Friday starting Tonight po. Sabi rin ni Ma'am Lovelyn, been using Canva in my presentation and it's really great using it. Sabi niya. And then si yeah. Sir Julian or si Ma'am Julian Natalia, sabi niya, free Canva po ba? It, kung may free Canva account na daw ba, how can she use Canva for education? I think that would be answered also later. So now be, uh, let's proceed with the, the next lecture. Lecturer, our speaker is Ms. Che Bantayan. She is uh, the creative lead at Canva who tells uh, inspiring stories through brand illustration. Her creative journey started out in graphic design, but um, her love for illustration and uh, sequential art has driven her to push towards creating a brand illustration system that spreads across digital motion and print media. For her, the quality of an illustration doesn't rely on technique and style, rather on the authenticity and vulnerability that the illustrator is able to share. Good evening, Ms. Che. Thanks, Rio. Uh, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us, especially on a Friday night, no? 7.30 now, but you're still tuned in with us, so thank you so much, um, and thank you also for that, to Deped for having us. Um, I am going to, so before I share my screen, uh, I want to introduce myself again. Uh, my name is Chet. Uh, I'm a creative lead for illustration, like Sir, what Sariga said, but today I'll walk you through some basic Canva tips. So uh, what the homepage looks like, how to navigate through the whole platform, and eventually how to start your own design. No? So um, before we start, uh, I'm going to try to share my screen right now. Um, but before we start, stretch, stretch po muna and then get some water. Um, if you have some devices with you or near you, uh, please get it. Go to canva.com para po masabayan nyo ako uh, as I go through this uh, demo. So I'll just share my screen right now. 
and hopefully you can see it now. Um, okay, so if everyone's ready, um, I wanna, I'm, uh, today I'm gonna start with some Canva 101 and some Canva basics. Um, where's my cursor? Okay, <laughs> okay. So before everything, I wanna introduce you to what we call the homepage. So at the yung unan yung may kita when you um enter Canva.com. So dito niyo may kita lahat ng templates, um lesson plans, uh, presentations. Um, Google Classroom headers that were made specifically for Canva for Education. So, lahat to um, designed um, and um, designed by designers in in Manila, and then uh, a lot of thought and hard work and heart has been put into creating these templates, especially for you guys. So, you can access it directly through the homepage. Um, and then another thing that is very specific and special to Canva for Education, if you already have your Canva for Education account, is that uh, you can now integrate your Clever and Google Classroom uh, through Canva. So like what Shishi mentioned a while ago, so uh, one of Canva's vision is to be a one-stop shop for all things um, design and um so basically, lahat ng kailangan yun dito na sa Canva. So now you can integrate your Clever in Google Classroom by creating a class. So you can see that on the left-hand um, tab, um, right below Classwork, Brand Kit, and then you'll see Create a Class. Um, when you click that, it will a pop. It will lead you to a page similar to this one. So if you just click on import Google Classroom, mapapasok na po lahat ng uh, information from your Google Classroom into Canva. So um, lahat ng designs um, and then info in your Google Classroom, you can now access through Canva. So uh, really, really efficient. Um, para po sa siguro sa mga maram, marami ng designs na nagawa, so familiar kayo sa, sa homepage and then how you, how you can integrate your Google Classroom. But for everyone who uh, is who is a first timer and hasn't uh, created the design yet. I'm gonna show you how. Um, so through your homepage, the one that I show you showed you a while ago. Um, if you look at your upper right hand corner, you can see create a design. Um, a create a design button in Canva Turk. And then if you click that, let's see. Uh, click uh, create a presentation, and then it will bring you to a page that looks like this one. So meron kang empty page. Um, that is what we call our editor. So it looks like this one. So this whole page. Um, I will show you a couple of key things that you can do on our Canva editor. So um, namely, one of the most important ones are uh, naming your design. So it's kind of like naming your file. And then you can also show a lot of guides like margins. Now, if you're very specific about alignment, you can turn that on. And then you can also copy pages. So I will demo this um, right now so that I can show you uh, firsthand how it looks like. So this is, if you can see my screen, this is how my editor looks like at the moment. And then yung mga, pinip, yung mga uh, at arrows that were pointing into uh, different directions a while ago. So here in the upper right hand corner, you can actually rename your design. As I said, it's like similar to renaming a file. So right now it says presentation. Um, so I want to name this to Canva 101. So that's the name of my presentation. And then uh, this white thing in the middle is what you call your page. Um, you can do a lot with it later. I'll show you how. Uh, but a few um, key buttons, <laughs> uh, features that you can use um, to easily navigate through the page are just right above it, at the upper right hand corner. So here, if you can see my cursor, um, meron nakasulat add presenter notes. So specifically, if you are doing a presentation, you can add presenter notes on that specific page. Um, there are up and down buttons if you want to move up or down the specific page. And then there's this icon that that says duplicate page. So what that does is um, it copies that exact page pababa. So if I click it, this is what it will ha what will happen. So as you can see, it copied the exact format. Um, right beside that button, you'll see a trash bin icon. So what that does is basically just deleting that page, just like that. So right after that um, 
trash bin, um, you'll see an add page button. So, meron tayong duplicate page, meron tayong add page. So, the difference is that pag duplicate, it copies the exact format, whereas pagka add page, it just adds a blank page. So, you start from scratch, right? Um, okay, so after all of those um, buttons that you can uh, use to navigate through your page. Um, you can also, on the upper, if you look at the upper left-hand corner, you see home, file, view, and resize. So there's a lot of things you can do under file, like make a copy, download, um, and then, or create a new design. Um, and then right beside that, you'll see view. So ito na yung sabi ko na uh, you can add rulers and guides. So if you're very, if, if you're very particular about um, uh, alignment and whether or not things will flow beyond um, the page or something, this is where you can um, create those guides para to make sure na walang nakakot yun sa page nyo or lahat is, everything is aligned. So you can actually show your rulers. So if you add, hindi ko lang kung nakita yung subtle change down, but if you see here, just below my toolbar, merong ruler-like thing that will pop up. And then from view also, you can show margins. So if you can see um, on my page, merong really subtle gray dotted, dotted line um, surrounding my page. So what that does is just basically tells you that um, anything inside this um, dotted uh, rectangle is the safe zone. So pag may lombas doon, um, may risk the shock being cut. Uh, so anyway, um, aside from view, uh, beside that, you can click resize. Uh, from here, you'll see like a number of um, options that you can do. So from a presentation, you can actually resize your design to a Facebook post, poster, etc. Okay, so I went through that kind of really quickly, but um, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment on the comment box on uh, Facebook, uh, and then we'll get to it shortly. Okay, um, I get turn off ko lang yung margins. So right now, uh, I'm gonna go through some quick tips um, for the first timers in the audience. Um, it's basically a few shortcuts that you can do um, just to make your lives a bit easier. Um, so to start off, let's say you wanna add a text box, uh, you wanna say something. Um, instead of, there are a couple of ways to do it. So if you wanna go the long way, meron dito on my left-hand side is my objects panel. So there's templates, uploads, photos, elements, and text. So you can add a text to here if you click that. But you can also create a text box by pressing the T on your keyboard. So that's exactly what I did right now. So may nag pop up na parang text box smack in the middle of my page. Um, so from there, you can edit it and say hi or hello uh, or say good evening. And then from your text box, uh, if you look at the upper left-hand corner, merong nag-pop up na parang settings. So it shows Open Sans, the font that I'm using, and then yung um, text size, which is 25, and then text color, bold, etc. So similar to a Word document, meron siyang um, settings right above it. So say I want to make that a little bit bigger, um, say 100. So immediately it changed, and then from this, if you can see, uh, let's make it a bit bigger. So if you can see, while my text is selected, mayroong bounding box. So you can easily parang drag from left, from right to left, and then change the alignment on the upper hand corner. So um, it's easy to resize and um, edit the, the settings of your text um, right away. So um, let's say you are uh, making a quick presentation tapos ang mamadali kayo, you don't, you don't have time to sort of uh, browse through the hundreds and thousands of fonts that we have available on Canva. Um, don't worry, meron na pong preset um, text and fonts on the text tab to my left. So if you click text on the objects panel, merong mga font pairings that were already um, designed and curated for you to use right away. So say you want to add a quote on your page. Um, there's this uh, thing that looks like a quote. So I'll click this. So merong malaking 
merong paragraph and then there's a there's a name below it so you can easily change that right but what if um you want to make you want to make a an invite uh, or an announcement of a sale meron na rin pong um pre select pre designed fonts for you guys so it's kind of, it functions kind of like a template na you can choose and edit um ayan para po like just like this one so that uh you don't need to edit the the text size and the the font um already okay so, kung nakakasunod pa po kayo, uh, we'll um, go to adding shapes. So, after text, you can, aside from text, rather, um, you can add shapes. So, say, for example, I want this text pairing and gusto kong mag-add ng circle um, below it. So, like like adding text, um, there are two ways. So, you can go to elements and go through shapes. But there's also a shortcut, shortcut such as a CRL. So if you press C, it automatically um, gives you a circle. So uh, you can also change the color of that shape. So if you, okay, close muna. So if you select the circle that you just placed um, and look at the upper left-hand corner, merong square box in the same color. You just click that, and then it will show you all the color options that you have. Um, so say I want to choose um, Canva Turk. And, and then I want to put it right click, send to back. Oops, right click, send to backward. Yeah, so it's it's automatically placed behind the text. And then you can just adjust it um, through the corners of the bounding box. So say for example, also you want to, aside from a circle, you want to add a rectangle. So just press R on your keyboard. And then if you see the bounding box around the, the shape, you can easily adjust it by dragging, um, oopsie, by dragging the corners of the shape. Yeah, so gusto ko going thinner. Yeah, so pwede ko siyang going ganyan. And then you can also copy paste if you wanna add more. And so as easy as that, I was able to um, add shapes and add text. But see, I, I don't want to go through the whole trouble of uh, adding a rectangle and resizing to a line, right? So I can easily just press L if I want to add a line. So this is useful if you want to add some details to your design or if you um, want to create guide um, lines, kind of like what you see on the notebook. Um, for your presentations or activity sheets. Uh, ayan, it's that easy. So L for, for line, R for rectangle, C for circle. Um, so I'm kind of breezing through this. So again, if you have any questions, um, please, please um, just comment on the comment section on the Facebook Live page. Um, okay, so aside from adding shapes and text, we can also play with colors. So like, I showed kanina um, when I added the circle and the line. You there's a there's a box in the upper left hand corner that will pop up in the same color. So here, naman with the elements that are multicolored, um, there are more than one color that pops up on the upper left hand. So you can edit all of those colors. So say here when I when I um, selected carry lang this emo this um, element. Um, a blue, a yellow, a red, and a white pops up on the upper left. Um, so say I want to change the white one and change it into uh, a black. So immediately, the white part of no element turns into a black. And you can do that with all of your elements. So say itong nai, uh, it's just one color. I want to make it red. And then this church. Um, yung light yellow, I want to make it uh, blue or white, etc. So um, for every element that you choose on the objects panel, you can actually um, change their color to your liking. Right. Um, okay, so moving on. Um, we can change a lot of these colors, but where did I get them exactly right? So um, you can access all of these through 
the element tab. So, oh, may metro mark. Meron akong ano, notice. Okay, push natin to. Hi. Okay. Um, so, if you go through the objects, the elements tab in the objects panel, you can see uh, recently used, featured, lines, shapes, frames, stickers, charts, etc. So, if you want to add fun illustrations, um, go to elements. And then if you scroll down, you'll see a lot of um, a lot of illustrations that are already um, categorized for you. So say I want some zodiac symbols. Uh, you can click through that and then just choose one and then it'll automatically add to your page just like that. Um, and then similar to the shapes um, that I showed earlier in the text boxes, it's easy to resize them by um, dragging from the bounding box. And then you can also change their colors on the upper left-hand corner. Uh, but I like this color, so we'll keep it here. Um, and then if you want to add a sticker, so it's also a GIF, um, there's already a category here for you. Let's see, there's a category here for you. So if you click see all under also the elements tab, um, they're all just stickers, so they're really fun. Um, Say I want to add this one because it says weekend. Oh no, it's white. Okay, ito na lang kasi may heart. And it's just the same color as the zodiac. Ayan. So it's moving and then you can add all of these fun elements on your presentation para um, may motion so it's not just static. And then if you, you can also add a lot of uh, moving gifs to keep your students engaged. Yeah. So... Like I said, Kanina, you can add shapes by pressing the shortcut C CRL, but um, there are also a lot of shapes available um, that I haven't mentioned a while ago. So, ito yung mga uh, shapes that we have, and you can actually build upon them. So, let's say, for example, I want to choose uh, this shape that has like a, a zigzag and a wiggly lines around it, and then I want to turn it into a metal so I can change the color, um, make it yellow, and then go back to elements, and then go back to shapes, and then choose a circle. Yeah. So you can actually build them on top of each other, and then make that a slightly lighter yellow. So that kind of looks like a metal, the face of a metal, or a sun. Um, so yeah, and there's a lot of other things you can do. Um, through the shapes tab um, and a lot more things to explore, um, which you can do in your own time. Um, but I think what's really cool and what's really useful is uh, our charts, um, especially when you're doing presentations. Um, it's just, um, we have a lot of options in a lot of colors. We have bar charts, we have pie charts. And then later on in the demo, I'll show you how to um, add your own um, how to change the data so you can add your own uh, info to them. So yeah, we have pie, we have bar, uh, we have line. There you go, line charts. And then you can also edit their sizes by playing with the bounding box. So if you stretch um, the corners, it makes it bigger. If you stretch it um, through the sides, it makes it thinner or fatter or taller, depending on how you want it to fit your page. And, and then this one, uh, this really good tip is very useful, especially when you've had a lot of, um, when you put a lot of elements on your page. So masyado kayong uh, nag-enjoy, you, you add a lot of photos, a lot of uh, stickers, a lot of gifs, and then nagpatong-patong na sila. No? And then what if, uh, say for example, you want to, move one thing, pero let's see, for example, you want to move just one thing. Oops. Move one thing, pero gust um, you want to move the whole thing pala, uh, pero isa lang yung gumagalaw. So what you can do is you can actually select everything just by dragging um from one side of the page and then selecting everything and then click 
and then press Command or Control G to group them. So what this does is that it now moves as one element. So you can drag it around as one whole thing, or you can resize it and then hindi po siya, um, and then lahat po na resize uh, accordingly. Uh, but say for example, ayo yun na siyang naka group, and then you want to just move one element from the group elements. You can press uh, Shift. Command or Control and then G. So what that does is it ungroups things. So it, they're now their own individual element. So again, co Command or Control G to group, and then Shift Command or Control G to ungroup. And okay. Um. So apart from uh, grouping and um, shapes and stickers and illustrations. Uh, there's also grids and frames that you can find on the elements tab. So from elements, uh, shapes, well, just below shapes, you'll see uh, frames. And then after that, you'll see grids. So um, grids and frames, sila yung parang may landscape na photo uh, on top of it, uh, illustrated on top of it. So that just means that you can drag any photo inside that grid or that frame and then fill kagancha. So say for example, I want to add this photo and I want it inside that circle. So I can just drag it like that and then it immediately fills inside that shape. So you can do that also with grids. So if you go to grids, go to elements and then press grid, see all, um, and then you see, you see one grid that you like. Uh, and then if you press that, it will fill your whole page. But what you can do is right click, bring to front, and then resize it the way that you would resize a normal element. So say for example, I want this to fill this page immediately. Uh, I can resize it by playing with the bounding box and then I can go to um, photos and then uh, choose the photos that I want to put inside and then drag it to fill that um, space. And so that easy, you already have um, a photo grid uh, that you can use on your design. Um, so apart from elements, grids, stickers, <laughs> it's already a long, long list. We, it doesn't stop there. We, are, we also have Canva apps. So if you look at my uh, objects panel, you see templates, uploads, music, and down at the bottom, you'll see three dots. So it says more. You click that, and then you'll see all of the apps and integrations that we have. So we have Pexels, Pixabay. We have embeds, um, emojis, uh, Facebook QR, Jiffy, etc. cetera. So um, if you click on emoji, this is one of my personal favorites. You can you can select an emoji to add to your design. And then it will add like an element that you can resize and change colors as you wish. Oh, yeah, just like that. Yeah. And then I want to add more emojis. You get star, resize. So there's a long list that you can choose from, similar to the ones that you use on your phone, um, as well as GIFs. So if you go to our apps and integrations once more and then click Jiffy, uh, it will bring you to a long list of GIFs that you can choose from. And then you can also search a GIF, say I want a star on the search bar. And then there, you are a star. You can add it directly to your design. Excuse me. Okay, so, um, we're almost at the at the end of our demo. So if you have any questions, please um, comment on the comment section. Um, this is also another cool uh, app that you can do. So say, for example, you have a Google form that you want to integrate in your design. So you can easily do so by copy pasting the link. So I, let's say I want to use this link. I want to copy it. And then if I press paste, it will automatically paste the form on my design. So you can easily access it through the presentation. So functioning form to. So say if I click present, um, 
it should show there you and medyo mawaga lang but if i it i can i can um interact with it so i can click susunod and then um everything is clickable and i can answer the the form on the presentation right okay um as, aside from canva apps you also have charts so i mean, i saved this one for for last because it's super cool and i feel like you can really use this in your presentation especially if you have data sh to show um so if you go to um more no it's here Nepal. okay if you go to the objects panel um and go to charts uh choose the chart that you like so say i want a bar graph um if you click it immediately may lalabas na parang data on the left hand side and what you can do is you can manually um edit that item um but the cool thing is that say for example you have an attendance sheet and then meron ka ng excel file right um uh, say uh, this is a bad example because i only have four students but say for example you have a lot of students and then marami ng dates days yung na, na track mo for their attendance you can easily um select their name and then all the data and then copy and then from on this section when it oopsie on this section when it says um paste data from spreadsheet to so my lower left hand corner just press paste and then automatically it copy pastes the data see like there's chen then ito yung attendance ko uh, and then there's me and and Gladys. so maka copy paste kagad yung attendance nila so it's very useful especially when you have a lot of students already um yeah so that's basically um yung mga um basic navigations and tips and tricks to get you started so uh, i'll share with you like just a summary of everything that i went through from adding text um mix and match fonts shapes etc so if you want to take a screenshot of this go ahead use it as your cheat sheet um but if you naman my screenshot right now um we will share this presentation later on um through our social media pages so if you um haven't done so yet please um follow us um on twitter instagram at canva ph or on facebook and canva and then if you again like what shishi mentioned a while ago if you want to be a part of a community of teachers um who are using canva please join us uh, at canva for at our facebook page canva for filipino teachers that's facebook.com slash groups slash canva for filipino teachers and then um after this webinar i will share this presentation there so uh if you wanna if you want notes for all of the short tips that i just mentioned um that's it thank you for listening um i'm handing it back to sir Vigo for some q a all right thank you so much miss check for the very interesting topic and discussion and yes um yung sabi ni miss check kanina no um she will be sharing the um the discussion or yung material na ginamit po niya sa kanyang presentation sa Canva for Filipino teachers. So basically, yung nakita natin ngayon, yung mga basic tips, how to add text, mix and match, mga different elements. Um, nakakatawa pati pala din sa uh, paggawa ng, I mean, din sa attendance ng class, meron na rin. No? So, um, and if you notice din, uh, very, um, not, if not, hindi lang naman Filipino, no? pero ang daming mga uh, pwede natin gamitin na uh, Filipino team or uh, Filipinize yung mga context or mga uh, graphics na pwede natin gawin. So, um, you may still uh, also post your questions sa ating live stream. Uh, the team of Canva is very active sa atin pong, uh, sa pagsagot po ng ating mga questions. But I also wrote some questions here. Sabi ni Sir Lloyd uh, Magdaluyo, Ang tanong niya, can this app be used in mobile or smartphones? Uh, yes po. Uh, this can be downloaded sa App Store. Depende. At tapos kung gumagamit pa kayo ng, uh, ng iOS, it depends on sa operating system. Okay. And then, uh, one question also, ang sabi po ni... Oh. 
eto sabi po ni Sir Alex Molas um, paano daw yung free um, Canva because uh, ginagamit daw yata niya pero the application is asking for um, for payment What you're gonna do po is to register your debit email. Yung sabi kanina ni Ms. Shishi, uh, pre-approve na po yun. Uh, you may also click or you may also visit this uh, link, canva.com slash edu dash sign up. We also have uh, bit.ly slash canvaph dash edu Tama po ba yun, Ms. Che? Yung dito sa sinabi ko, baka hindi baka nagkamali ako dun sa ano. Tama. Okay. Um as you notice po sa ating live stream, the Canva team is very interactive. So in case uh, you have uh, questions, you can still post po dito sa live stream. You may also I also read one question earlier if this Uh, webinar is recorded. Pwede nyo pong bisitahin ang ating Dep at Philippines Facebook page. Punta po kayo sa playlist para ma-review po ninyo. And since Friday ngayon, siguro may mga iba po tayong colleagues or co-teachers na hindi po naka-online right now. You can also share this link to them so they can review uh, the basic tips na binigay po ni Ms. Che. And then next Friday, uh, our our topic would be designing educational content. We will also have two uh, speakers from Canva on Friday. We want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. Kaiser Shardy ng uh, Canva and the rest of the team of Canva na nasa um, kausap natin sa Viber. Hindi ko... Um, hindi ko memorize yung mga names, but thank you very much for joining us. Miss Shishi, thank you so much for joining us tonight also. Miss Che, uh, we would really, uh, we would, uh, ano, uh, gusto ko talaga magpasalamat, gusto po talaga namin magpasalamat, no, for sa Canva, for this very good um, opportunity for our teachers. And just uh, as what I mentioned last time dun sa webinar ng ating mga regional information officers and division information officers. Yung goal kasi ng Canva is to make everyone a designer. And uh, yung, yung, di ba, yung sabi ko kanina sa ating, uh, before we started the, the webinar, um, yung 90% of uh, the design ng Canva uh, ay created po ng uh, mga kapwa natin Filipino and they are giving us the gift to be, uh, I mean, to enhance our learning materials, uh, to enhance our skills in designing, and para po mas maging interactive ang ating mga materials for our learners. Any last word, Ms. Chet, before we end our webinar tonight? Uh, for me, I guess, um, thank you to DepEd uh, for giving us the opportunity uh, again to talk about Canva for Education um, and to all the teachers who are, and non-teachers or just anyone who just is supporting Canva for tuning in on a Friday night, especially. Um, yeah. Shishi, do you, do you have any um, last words that you want to say? <laughs> um, thank you then to, for this opportunity. And I'm really, really excited for teachers and students out there Um, para makapag-create sila ng something really beautiful using Canva. And we're always here. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Um, yun. Yun lang. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Che and Ms. Shishi. Sabi may pahab may babasahin ako pahabol na comment. Sabi ni Ma'am Cheryl Del Pilar, please record po this webinar because it's very helpful to us. Yun po, sabi ko kanina, you can go back, uh, you can always review uh, this link or this um, stream po sa ating DepEd Philippines uh, Facebook page. Um, yung, you can also visit Canva for Filipino Teachers group para po may mga, uh, for your questions about uh, using Canva. 
uh, our Canva team is very active in answering all your questions. Po. All right. So thank you so much po once again for joining our webinar tonight. Alam po, alas ocho na po, sana nakapag-dinner na po kayo. Pero kung hindi pa, I hope uh, nabusog po kayo sa discussion nila Ms. Shishi and Ms. Che. Uh, uh, thank you so much Canva team for this very colorful uh, discussion. See you again next Friday. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Rico Tumay.